What's up YouTube? Welcome to Bible Wisdom. Today I wanted to give some points and advice about hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is basically saying one thing and doing a different thing. You know, we have all sinned and we've all fallen short of the glory of God, like it says in Romans. And so, you know, there's times that, of course, you know, maybe you're not meeting the mark. You know, maybe um, a cuss word slipped out of your mouth or something. And, you know, you're like, oh, man, you know, someone heard me cuss. And so, you know, that this could be an example. You know, I mean, I'm not necessarily saying this would na naturally happen, but, you know, we have to guard against hypocrisy through some different means. One of those ways is to have a judgment of ourself. So um, really analyzing and being honest about how we are living our life. You know, um, you know, we all make mistakes, you know, uh, as you are a new Christian, you know, there's times where you struggle with things, you know, um, and so before, you know, hypocrisy has w one way of maybe you're saying something to someone else and yet you do that thing that you tell others not to do that could be one way or you know there's a standard that you're supposed to be living and you're not living it so for example you know if we are saying that we are christians or we're christ followers and we don't act christ-like you know we're not forgiving people we're not um turning the other cheek you know um we aren't repenting. We aren't confessing our own sin. You know, why does the Bible say if you say you have not sinned, you are a liar? You know, because there's a mentality that we can have that, oh, you know, I haven't sinned. You know, I've totally been in that state where, you know, I'm doing something that I feel like this is OK. You know, it's not necessarily a sin, you know, and in fact, it was a sin, you know, and so I want to encourage you to, you know, take a good analysis of your life and really be honest with yourself about, OK, what am I doing that I need to change? You know, how can I um, receive the message of Christ and how can I get the plank out of my own eye? You know, um, you know, the Bible is full of examples where you know we have to rise to a higher level than what we are currently living in and so sometimes as a christian we're challenged you know we're challenged to uh, make better decisions throughout the day we're challenged to stay committed to a certain level of christ-like behavior and um you know it can be tiring you know um and it's easy to reach a point where you are telling someone, you know, hey, I'm a Christian, but yet you are, uh, you know, not fully living like the Bible has described. Now, it's one thing for someone to tell you that you're doing wrong, you know, but are we reading the Bible, listening to the Bible, and instead of hearing what someone else is saying that we're doing wrong, you know, are we accepting what the Bible says about how we should be living our life? And are we doing it that way? Um, so, you know, of course, if you're giving advice like I'm giving advice, you know, I have to guard against, you know, am I doing what I'm telling other people to do? You know, am I living the way that I should be living? And so, you know, I just wanted to encourage you that, you know, think about how you're living first before you're ready to condemn someone else before you're ready to slight someone else you know say oh they're not a good christian you know oh they're doing poorly you know they're this or that or the other you know one way one thing that the bible says is that we are not supposed to uh have hatred towards another brother or sister in christ you know it says that if you do you're in darkness and so Let's be honest about, OK, how are we viewing other Christians? You know, do we have grace for them? You know, um, if someone's a little bit different than you, maybe they believe something different. You know, we can't get so dogmatic about 
our belief system of course we have to believe and you know not waver on what we believe but um we can't get so kind of so serious that we are like the pharisees missing the point of the heart of what jesus is telling us about how we should be christians how we're supposed to live like christ you know so i just wanted to make this video to encourage you that you know we have all made mistakes you know and we have to live up to the level that christ is calling us to and also have grace for when you may not you know live up to that expectation and when someone else in your life may not live up to that expectation you know let's have grace for those people let's you know have love for those people and not um condemn them or um show any t sort of hatred unforgiveness you know love this love or what's the anti word of love but uh anyway like not showing love towards that person and um we'll be better off for that so um anyway i hope this you got something from this video it's a quick video um i'll be making another video today um but remember that hypocrisy is saying one thing and doing the opposite and let's be honest with ourselves about how we are living so we can truly be christ-like thank you so much uh please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more helpful videos and i will talk to you on the next video see ya